Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for August. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is a message from my guides. I just use these cards as cue cards, just like all the other readers do, but my messages really come from my guides. So, let's just see what comes up. We are going to start right here. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for the month of August? Keep in mind that the timing um, is fluid, so it might not resonate the minute you watch it. And that happens a lot, but you got to check back at a later time if it doesn't, because this is a preview, you know? It's a preview. So it may not be happening at the exact moment you watch it. It may, but it may not. What do we have for Scorpio, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? For the month of August. Ooh, control. This is the strength card. This is a card of restraint. It's a card of power. You know, it's a card of courage and confidence and control. So, it's eight is also a card of um, abundance. It really is. So, I feel as though this is a month where you are going to be in control. You are probably going to be um, feeling very strong, looking really, really good. Um, your your confidence is, is going to be portrayed. People are going to see your your confidence okay they're going to see your high confidence you are, are going to you're going to look a certain way put it that way you are going to project out a certain aura of confidence and self-control and self-resilience -res and you know high self-esteem it's like you're in complete control of your emotions and complete control of yourself and everybody can see it okay um yeah, so control, high confidence here. We're going to start right here. A oneness, that's what it is. It's a oneness. It's like you're, you're that force within you. It's like it's a force to be reckoned with. It's like you are the force. Uh, you can understand what I'm saying. Scorpio. The epitome of strength. <laughs> yeah. Mastery. Nine of winter. Unfounded fear. Focusing on worst case scenarios. Allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So this is the Nine of Swords. So you must have some unfounded fears that you need to get control of. Focusing on the worst case scenarios. Master your emotions. Maybe this is the past. I feel like, you know, I think that you're coming out of that. I really do. I don't, I don't think that you guys are in a place of fear. Maybe you are. Maybe deep down you are, and this is where you're finding the strength to overcome those fears. That makes sense, doesn't it? That does make sense. So I think that's that's probably where it is at. It's like you're you're replacing that fear with with self confidence and self esteem and self control. It's like you are the force. There's no need to be fearful when you have this strength, you have this knowing, you, you're the master. I keep feeling that master energy. Um, I don't know why. Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio for August? In regards to love, in regards to love relationship of some sort. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You got a new love, Scorpio? You got a new love? <laughs> this is this, or this could be a renewal in love. It could be. It could be. It could be a fresh start in a relationship that you've been in. Either way, 
You have a new love and you are being called to master your emotions and don't let your fear get in the way of this. Okay? If you're worrying about this new love, keep in mind that that's just a thought. It's a negative thought. You're probably blowing it out of proportion. Find your ability to restrain yourself from, you know, reacting out of fear. Okay? Because you got a new love opportunity here that, you know, it looks as though it's pretty... It was obviously very significant. It's very significant. And I think you, you, that you should not let fear hinder this opportunity. Okay? So, Scorpio... Oh, you may, there, there, there's fear of deception, right? Betrayal. Seven of Swords this is a betrayal. This is deception. Looking back, you may not trust this person. You, pro you probably don't trust. You may not trust. Uh, you've got a major new beginning here, though. This is a major new beginning. Step into the unknown. That last chapter is completed. Don't let the fear hold you back. It's over. Okay? Yeah, in the past, you were probably deceived or you were betrayed, but that's over. It's done. It's time to move to move on. This is, this is mastering your emotions as well. This is putting yourself in the driver's seat and going. Go. Just go for it. Face this opposition, which is fear. Okay? It is. Your biggest problem here is fear. And I know that there's going to be somebody that comments, I don't have any fear. That's a pile of shit. Bullshit. If you have to comment that you don't have any fear, then you were triggered. We have somebody here that is moving in a new direction. And they are being called to replace that fear with faith. This could lead to victory and success. This is very, this is, has huge potential to be successful. Now this is a cheating. This is cheating. This is a lesson learned. So somebody may have learned a lesson about cheating or about deceiving, about you know, looking at doing things that they shouldn't be doing. That lesson, maybe they learned a lesson now. Lesson learned. You get, you, you, you reap what you sow, right? You get what you deserve. Whoever this person is that is coming into your life that has arrived or you are heading towards, whatever the case is, this will be an equal opportunity. This is some, some person that will reciprocate fully. You won't have to do all the work right around the corner you are going to receive somebody or something that is stable, that is solid or the, whoever this person is they are stable, they have something they can actually offer you but you are going to not let your fear get in the way this right here is your hopes and fears don't, don't stall don't, it's like you're stalling you're stalling, you're stalling Stop. Maybe you're stalling from moving. You know what I mean? Or you're putting the brakes on. Or you're. You may think that this isn't practical. You may think that you don't have enough money. Or you know maybe money is an issue. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough to offer. I think that you do have enough to offer. That could be fear. That could be your worry. Maybe you fear that you don't make enough money, or you don't have enough money, or you can't take care of this person, or whatever. That's a fucking fear. Excuse my language. This, this opportunity that you are being presented to start over with somebody could grow. This could grow into something huge. It could be very, 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 very successful. So I just need to tell you that. Um, you need to let go of the dead ends. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. Um, don't let your bitterness or resent or anything like that hold you back. I feel like... Um, your challenge is letting go. This is your challenge position. Holding on to a dead end. You're holding on to some sort of dead on end. Maybe you need to move. This is moving to a new destination. Maybe you actually need to move and start over someplace else. Because wherever you're at right now, it's really not emotionally fulfilling. It's not. You know, 
there's there's really no emotional contentment. This is this is like blocking you from a golden opportunity wherever you're at right now. And this is blocking you as well. Don't block love because you feel like you don't have enough, like you're not good enough or whatever the case is. Don't do that shit. Okay? You may not be seeing things clearly, just being honest with you. You have a new opportunity here to start over someplace else. And I this for many of you, not all, this involves moving. It does. This is moving, this is moving. So moving to a new place. Moving to a new place in the world. I mean different from where you are right now. A different location. So for some of you, you know, you will receive more by actually getting in your vehicle and going some, going. You got to go. You got to go. You still got to stop stalling. Um, it feels like right now, <clears throat> excuse me, you may have a hard time opening up. Sorry. It is funny how that happens right at the perfect time. You may have a hard time, you know, expressing yourself to somebody because of your fears. You may be resentful over the last betrayal. Maybe you were cheated on or somebody made some mistakes and there's still some a level of, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not ready for love or coldness, you know, shut down emotionally. It's like somebody has shut down their heart, afraid to give their heart away. Don't, please, please. If you are dealing with somebody that didn't know how to love, don't take on their energy. You may be taking on their energy. Release that shit. Don't hold on to another person's negative energy. Somebody from your past, your ex, perhaps. So I feel as though it's, it's time for you to live again. It's time to come out of this place of stagnation and stop stalling and get moving. You have a new opportunity here that could lead to success. It could lead to victory. This is... This is uh, A time when you need to find your strength to look fear in the face and give your heart another chance to fall in love because there is a new love here for you. So there is. There is. I feel like this person is probably either an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Cancer. Um, that's who I think it is. It could be either one of those. Could be anybody else. But I feel like you need to open your heart. And you, you may have to do something you've never done before, but this is an opportunity that could really grow into something huge. It could. It could grow into something solid, something stable. Everything that you've ever wanted, trust me, it could. Where there's equal reciprocation, where you don't have to do all the work. This is, this is like you receiving what you truly deserve, but the only way that you are going to get it is to step over that finish line and don't let the past hold you back. The past betrayal, the past hurt, the past deception. Please, because that's what I see. You got to do what's right for you. It's time to get in the driver's seat and take back control of your life. Stop stalling and let somebody love you. Because you have an opportunity for new love here. My advice is to go for it. You are in complete control. The power is in your hands. This is an opportunity, like I said, for extreme abundance. Don't stall anymore. Open yourself up. That's my advice. I feel like this is a month where you are going to receive an opportunity from somebody that could really bring balance to your life. It could. They could help you. They could help you if you allow them, if you let them. I see you traveling back and forth to this person, so there could be a distance between you and this person. This person is solid, and this person is ready to start over with you. And I feel like this person has good intentions. Don't let your ex, because this is like an ex, male or female, hold you back. Good luck.